Dean Salehan, Kama Jiu Jitsu. I hope you're doing well. Am I, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, hi everybody, this is Dean, um, the Judo Sensei here at Kama Jiu Jitsu. Uh, what we thought we'd do today is to do a video on Kosen Judo. And uh, whenever there's a discussion of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Judo, their history, the origins, and the relationship between the two arts, uh, somebody always brings up Kosen Judo. So I thought we'd talk about uh, Kosen, what it is, uh, maybe dispel some myths about it. Um, and then kind of my thoughts on the relationship between Judo, Kosen Judo, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So first, Kosen is an abbreviation for Koto Sen Mongako. And that's, I'm probably butchering that because my Japanese isn't so great. Uh, but Koto Sen Mon, the first two characters or syllables become Ko Sen. And the Koto Sen Mongako were technical colleges in uh, Japan in which they had a very particular rule set for practicing judo in tournaments. Prior to World War II, they developed a set of competition rules that uh, differed a little bit from what, say, the Kodokan uh, rules were doing. And since World War II, uh, there are still a handful of schools uh, in Japan that are still practicing the Kosen uh, tournament rules. And these are primarily in the seven former imperial schools of Japan. Um, some of the most prestigious schools still have Kosen judo teams. So uh, what is the Kosen rule set and how does it differ from uh, Kodokan rules and from IBJJF? Because a lot of times when people are talking about Kosen Judo, uh, because they do much more newaza or ground fighting, um, it has some resemblances to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, so people often compare the two when they're discussing Judo and, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, so in terms of the rules, so uh, Kodokan Judo or uh, traditional Judo, you can win by uh, four means. You can win by a, a solid throw, uh, nage waza, where you throw somebody firmly onto their back with speed, power, and control. Um, you can get some partial points if the throw was not as clean as a full ipon. Um, you can also win by what's called osai komi, so that's a pin. Uh, for a pre-designated period of time. It used to be 30 seconds, uh, then it was 25, and now it's 20 seconds to win by a pin. Um, and you can win by a joint lock uh, or a choke, shime waza and kansetsu waza. So uh, kosen judo is exactly the same. So you can win by any of those four means. Um, and you can already see the difference between judo rules, kosen judo rules, and uh, IBJJF rules. So an IBJJF, a throw will not win a, a, a match outright. A throw is two points. It doesn't matter how clean or how powerful that throw was, it's just two points. For the most part, pins and IBJJF jiu-jitsu don't count. Um, well, you can't win that way. You can score some points for mount or for taking the back. Uh, and obviously, uh, chokes and joint locks, you can win as well. So where does uh, Kodokan Judo or traditional Judo and Kosen Judo differ in terms of its rules? Uh, well, there's a couple of important differences. Um, one is Kosen Judo allows pulling guards. So this is called Hikikomi in Japanese. So this is going to the mat with no intention of throwing your opponent. Um, normally people go to guard. Um, in regular Kodokan Judo, that's a penalty. You, you cannot do that. Uh, that's allowed in Kosen Judo. Uh, the other critical rule difference is that in uh, Kosen Judo, the time on the ground, the time in Newaza is unlimited. Uh, so there is no mate or stop in the action. Uh, regular Judo, Kodokan Judo, or IJF Judo, you basically have 10 seconds, uh, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, depending on the referee, to make a pin or an arm lock uh, or a choke happen uh, before they stand you up. So there's no such thing in Kosen Judo. You stay on the ground as long as, um, uh, as, long as you need to. So because of those two um, differences in the rules, you'll see a lot of Kosen Judo doing what um, people might consider sort of modern sport BJJ. You'll see things like spider guards and de la hivas, people inverting. Uh, people get very good at groundwork in, in Kosen Judo and for obvious reasons, right? It's because majority of the time can be spent on the ground in Kosen Judo. 
Um, the other important thing to note about Kosen Judo is that um, it was always and is still uh, a team competition. So universities will square up and you'll have a roster of athletes from one university, uh, a roster of athletes from, from other universities, um, and the team with the most wins and the fewest losses uh, is the team that prevails for that day. So for that reason, uh, going to a draw is really important. Um, so if, if, let's say you're paired up with someone who you think is better uh, all around than you and maybe has better throws than you, so it might be kind of a strategic game to pull guard, hold the person uh, in your guard as long as you can, let the clock run out, uh, and score a draw. So at least your team is not taking a loss. Um, so strategically, uh, kind of pulling guard and stalling becomes uh, part of Kosen Judo uh, in a big way, because it's not an individual competition again, it's a team competition. So um, in a lot of discussions, when people are talking and comparing about Kosen Judo, Judo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, um, a lot of, say, ju Judo purists will bring up Kosen Judo. Um, and a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioners have become more interested in Kosen Judo as well, is to kind of understand the origins and the history uh, of their art. Um, and it goes without saying that Kosen Judo, um, the handful of schools that practice it in Japan, uh, are excellent at Neiwaza. And a lot of the modern BJJ games, um, again, a lot of the, the fancy open guard concepts and things like that, you can find it in Kosen Judo. Um, so when people mention Kosen Judo, you know, it's either because they're genuinely interested in this different form of Judo, um, but it, it's often kind of done with this um, caveat, right? Where it's like, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is basically just Judo, it's derived from Judo, um, most of the basic techniques, the ground techniques of Judo um, uh, were taken and, and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was, was a, a developed from there. And if you want really good high level uh, Neiwaza, well then Kosen Judo has got it. So uh, what's my take on that um, as, a, as a Judo practitioner and someone who's um, been doing Jiu Jitsu for a while as well? You know, there is some truth to it, right? So um, yes, it goes without saying that a lot of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu are techniques that are adopted from Judo, uh, especially the ground techniques. Uh, so a lot of the, the just basic fundamental jiu-jitsu, like the positions, mount, uh, guard, cross side, uh, keza, um, the joint locks, straight arm lock, bent arm locks like Americanas and Kimuras, uh, lapel chokes, rear naked chokes, all of that exists in judo. Um, and, you know, that goes without saying. And a lot of the sort of man fancier modern BJJ games have a lot of similarities with Kosen Judo, which is much older than Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, but does that make Brazilian Jiu Jitsu less legitimate as a martial art? Um, you know, people will say, well, it's basically just Judo because its techniques are ripped off from Judo. Um, you know, yes, a lot of the techniques are borrowed and adapted from Judo, but does that make Brazilian Jiu Jitsu less legitimate as a martial art? I would say absolutely not. So if you, if you use that logic, um, then judo, is, there's nothing new about judo, right? J Jigoro Kano never claimed to have invented new techniques. Um, a lot of the techniques that he brought into judo were adapted from other styles of jujitsu that he'd practiced. He never claimed to invent new techniques. Um, so, you know, by that respect, judo is just a continuation of classical Japanese jiu-jitsu. So, because Jigoro Kano created a systematization, a curriculum, a belt structure, a philosophy, um, he took classical Japanese jiu-jitsu and he created something new based on that. Um, and in large respects, Brazilian jiu-jitsu did borrow techniques from judo, but it developed its own uh, rules for competition, its own self-defense mindset. Um, so, you know, you can't say that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is not a different art uh, because what it takes to go from white belt to black belt is very different than what it takes to go from white belt to black belt in Judo. So, to go from white belt to black belt in Judo, you need to have outstanding throws. Um, you need to have a good understanding of uh, ground techniques. Uh, but your, your ground fighting can be, you know, okay, uh, mediocre. 
your, your standing has to be excellent. And in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you can go from white belt to black belt um, and know very few takedowns uh, very well, right? So you can spend most of the time on the ground, most of the curriculum is on the ground, uh, and in that respect, it's become a different art. Um, and you know, you really can't judge the a martial art by its set of techniques. Um, let's take some just striking arts. So let's take a roundhouse kick. A roundhouse kick exists in uh, karate, kung fu, taekwondo, muay thai. Um, none of those arts can claim to own a roundhouse kick. Um, so a lot of the techniques you see in judo, you also see in wrestling, you'll see in sambo, you'll see in uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. But each of those arts have a different emphasis, a different philosophy, a different uh, cultural tradition. Um, and it's all of those other things, uh, the, the curriculum, uh, what it takes to, to advance in the, in the belt structure um, that makes a martial art what it is. It cannot be and it is not the individual techniques. So, um, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again that uh, for most judoka in the United States, to get really good at Nawaza, um, training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is your best bet. Uh, Kosen Judo, yes, it exists. Yes, it's a thing, uh, but it's a handful of schools in Japan that are still adopting the the old rules, the Kosen Judo rules. Um, most judoka, even in Japan, are still doing traditional IJF Kodokan Judo. It's a minority that are doing Kosen. Uh, so, if you're in the United States. You know, it's really incumbent on you to, to find solid Nawaza. And for most of us, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is, is, is a place to really excel in that aspect of the art. Uh, and vice versa, if you're a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner and you want to get really good at takedowns, then incorporating some Judo uh, can only help you. Uh, I've never seen a proper Kosen Judo tournament in the United States. I'll say um, in the last, say, five or six years, you're, you're starting to see judo tournaments that'll have a Nawaza only division. Um, and usually they're starting on their knees. Um, but Kosen Judo doesn't start on their knees. They still start standing. You can pull guard, all the things that I said. So the, so the Nawaza only competitions that you see in traditional judo tournaments are still not Kosen Judo, not proper Kosen Judo. I think, I think I heard that the USJA, the US Judo Association, is starting to organize Kosen tournaments. Uh, but I'd have to see like the exact rule set and if they're following the exact uh, uh, um, Japanese Kosen system. So again, this is those universities in Japan that are doing Kosen tournaments. They might have adopted, adapted them a little bit. But if they're doing it, it's a very recent thing. And a lot of it is in response to people uh, doing more Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and getting much more comfortable on the ground. It wasn't something that was a, a thing that I ever saw coming up. You never really saw Kosen Judo tournaments in the United States. Um, and again, outside of Japan, it's really a handful of schools that are, that are still doing the Kosen tournament rules. Most Judo around the world is still following the, the IJF or um, Kodokan rule set. The big exception is the uh, freestyle Judo rules. Uh, which are a very unique rule set that still allow leg grabs. The ways of scoring points are a little bit different, but that's still a minority uh, among the judo community. No, I mean, I think, I think a, lot of, you know, a lot of the reaction that some judo people had to the emergence of Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and we've covered this in other videos, is that um, you know, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, they're claiming that what they're doing, this ground fighting stuff, fighting from guard, fighting from your back, um, that this is something new. And there were some claims from certain Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners, you know, things like, uh, you know, Elio Gracie invented the guard, right? Well, that's, that's just not true, right? So there might have been some people in the Jiu-Jitsu world that were making a little bit overblown claims, claiming the novelty of what they were doing. Um, and Judo folks might have taken a little bit of um, offense uh, or exception to that characterization of it being something new. Um, it goes without saying that a lot of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is adapted from Judo, but the emphasis is, uh, between Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Judo is different. So just because they share techniques doesn't make it the same martial art. 
Uh, karate and Kung Fu share a lot of techniques, but it doesn't mean that they're the same martial art, right? It's very different in terms of what it takes to to earn your next belt or to become an instructor or some of the philosophical traditions and the, the mor moral code and things like that differ between the martial arts. Uh, and the emphasis does, right? So judo, you know, still has a lot of the Japanese tradition behind it that Brazilian jiu-jitsu for the most part doesn't follow. Um, so in a lot of ways, you know, they, they overlap, but they're not identical. And I think a lot of this silly fight back and forth between some judo people and some Brazilian jiu-jitsu people, again, among, among the older generation perhaps, is because this claim that this is brand new and no one's, no one's ever done this before. Uh, where, you know, a lot of the, the techniques, uh, basic techniques of Brazilian jiu-jitsu are, do exist in judo. I mean, the claim is Brazilian jiu-jitsu is basically just judo, right? And, um, and again, if you look at just the collection of techniques, there's a lot of overlap. Um, a lot of overlap. But does that make them identical? No. I mean, there's a lot of overlap between wrestling and judo. Uh, there's a lot of overlap between sambo and judo. Uh, but just because the techniques overlap again doesn't make them one and the same. So I hope this clarified some of the um, uh, this relationship between judo and jiu-jitsu, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and what this Kosen judo thing is. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, just comment down below. Thanks.